I heard about Spencer. All those months you and Ava were in fear of a stalker and it turned out to be Spencer all along. But some of the things he did, it just doesn't feel like Spencer's style at all. Burning a car is simultaneously cliche and overkill. He admits he was responsible. Ava was right to have him arrested. Well, I asked to speak to you alone because I didn't want to say this in front of Ava. If Spencer was willing to go to those extremes to separate you two, it's doubtful you can get through to him. He still likes me, considers me a friend, even a mentor of sorts. Maybe he'll listen to me. I'd be happy to talk to Spencer. Is there uh, trouble over there with Britt Nicholas? Uh, you don't want to know. You know what? You're right. I don't. In fact, I was just telling Portia earlier today how happy I was to be out of that game. But based on experience, you and I know it's not a game at all, right? People get hurt. They may even die. Spencer has spent his entire life in the lap of luxury. So if he's willing to do a night in jail, that means he's really dug in on his position. Okay, maybe he needs to talk to a more neutral person who can help him find a way to apologize, but also save face. Come on, it doesn't hurt to try, right? I help you, you help me, it's a win-win. If you want to visit Spencer in jail, I can't stop you, but we don't have a deal. Why not? I admire your devotion to your mother, but I meant what I said, I can't help you find her. My family sold off our holdings in Crete years ago. Which means that your family used to own properties there, right? Brent, the Castanines used to own property in Crete, but we sold them. It's all part of public record. Oh God, stop, stop making it sound like we're talking about a three-bedroom bungalow in a nice neighborhood in a good school district. The Castanines don't go after normal homes like most people. You go after creepy caves and volcanoes and offshore islands with its own private harbors. I'm not going to deny the Castanines think big. My grandfather built a retreat there before I was even born. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Can you tell me how to get there? What's the point? We sold it a long time ago. It, it was converted into a monastery at one point, famous for its vineyards. The Vidiano, I'm told, is to die for. <laughs> I hope not, for my mother's sake. Can you tell me how to get there? I mean, I suppose you could take your holy orders and become a monk. But they're pretty old school there, men only. Besides, it's in the middle of nowhere. The only thing close is a tiny village with a church, a post office, and a taverna. And then there's nothing for miles. Mm -hmm. My own relationship with my son is complicated, to say the least. So even if most people wouldn't understand your devotion to your mother, I do. Maybe there's something I can do to help. I still got a friend or two in Crete. I can put in a few calls, see if anyone's heard anything. We're, we're talking about criminals and a possible kidnapping. You think your friends are just going to volunteer that information? To a stranger? Absolutely not. But it's different when it's one of their own. <laughs>